Introduction Mom, we are back from our music class. I am feeling very hungry. Me too. Okay, kids. Take this apple and share among yourselves till I prepare some food for you. But how do we share it? Cut the apple with the knife in two equal pieces so that both of you get one half of an apple. Children, today we will learn about fractional numbers in our daily life. Come along to know. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the concept of fractional numbers Identify the numerator and denominator of every fraction Discover how fractions are used to represent parts of a whole and parts of a set Discuss the importance of using fractional numbers in everyday life Hey! Can you count how many circles are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 But what if there was just half part of a circle? Hmm, how would we count it? Well, we will use fractions. Fractional numbers are the numbers that represent parts of a whole. Here is a whole birthday cake. Let's cut it into small pieces. Now, if we cut the cake from the middle, we get two equal size pieces. Each piece is one half of the whole cake. We can write that as a fraction. This number, called the denominator, tells us total number of pieces that make up one whole. The top number is called the numerator, which shows the number of parts. So, this is one half of the cake. And these are two halves of the cake. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, that is, one whole cake. Now, let us cut the cake in four equal pieces. Each piece represents one fourth of the whole cake. So, the fraction is one fourth. It is also called quarter. This is one quarter of the cake. This is two quarters, this is three quarters, and this is four quarters. Four divided by four is one, so four quarters make one whole cake. You can also divide the cake in more number of pieces. Drag and drop the correct fractional number into its respective place. Look at these 25 pesa coins. One twenty-five pesa coin is one-fourth of the one rupee coin. Similarly, one ten rupee note is one-fifth of one fifty rupee note. So kids, fractional numbers are used in money too. Remember, we can also use fractional numbers to talk about items in a group. Let's see, there are thirteen biscuits on this plate. So, that's our denominator. But the biscuits are not the same type. Six of them are chocolate biscuits, whereas seven of them are milk cream biscuits. So those are numerators. Therefore, we can say that six thirteenths are chocolate biscuits and seven thirteenths are milk cream biscuits. Can we divide time into fractions? Yes. Look at this clock. The hours would be the whole numbers and the minutes would be the fractions. Since there are 60 minutes in an hour, so each minute is 1 by 60. You can say 20 minutes would be equal to 20 divided by 60 and it will be equal to one third. Hey, how many of you like music? Great! Everybody likes music. In music, you have your whole note, half note and a quarter note and they all add up to each other, of course. So two half notes are the same length as a whole note and four quarter notes are the same length as a whole note. Isn't it amazing? Other than that, your mother also uses fractional numbers in her cooking recipes. How will you prepare one cup of tea for yourself? 
Hmm, you will need half cup of water, isn't it? So you see, fractional numbers are everywhere and they are very helpful to us. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Fractional numbers are the numbers that represent parts of a whole. Numerator determines the number of parts of a whole, whereas denominator tells us total number of parts. Two halves and four quarters are equivalent to one whole. Fractional numbers are used in money, in music, in time, in cooking recipes and so on.